Is it better to take collagen or protein powder for bone health? This is a question that I get asked all the time as a health coach. And the answer is that both are good for bone health, but they have some slightly different benefits. And in this video, we're gonna go over what those different benefits are and how both collagen and protein powder help our bones. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of fractures that happen each year. And I am so glad to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. Let's go over what our bones are made of. So our bones have a lattice structure that's made up of about 50% protein. Most of that protein is in the form of collagen. It's important to recognize that collagen is a form of protein. Amino acids also refer to protein and they're the building blocks of different proteins in our bodies. Collagen specifically has several amino acids that are directly used in forming bone. These amino acids are proline, glycine, and hydroxyproline. I think it's helpful to understand what the collagen actually does for our bones. Collagen provides bones with their flexibility and their ability to absorb some pressure. So you could think of the collagen part of our bones a bit like a shock absorber. The collagen helps to prevent fractures. The rest of our bones are made of minerals that give our bones their strength and rigidity. Our bones are pretty amazing when you stop to think about things. They're rigid enough to create stability for us and to give us form so that we aren't smooshy blobs just sliding around. And at the same time, they have some give to them, some amount of flexibility. Together, collagen and the minerals work to create strong and healthy, flexible bones for us. While collagens have some specific amino acids that are incredibly useful for our bones, they're not generally complete proteins, meaning that they don't have all of the amino acids that our bodies need for everything that they use proteins for in our bodies. Protein powders like whey have all of the amino acids that our bodies need. Whey is a milk-based protein powder and it may not be appropriate for everyone. If you consume animal-based milk, whey-based protein powder in the isolate form is the best option for a protein powder. Whey-based protein powder has a high concentration of leucine, an amino acid that's involved in building our muscles. Whey-based protein powders are also absorbed quickly and readily by our bodies. So if you don't consume animal-based milk, then check to make sure that the protein powder that you select has a complete amino acid profile in it. Most plant-based protein powders like pea, hemp, or rice are not necessarily complete proteins on their own, but they're frequently combined with other sources that make them complete protein powders. And hemp does have all the amino acids in it. My general point here is that protein powders tend to have complete amino acid profiles that are helpful for building strong and healthy muscles. Muscles. When we're trying to improve our bone health, it's necessary to do some bodybuilding and we need to have strong muscles that pull on our bones and signal to our bodies, we're using these, these bones need reinforcement. So you don't have to actually go to the gym and be a gym rat or get super into bodybuilding to improve your bone health. But it is important to have strong muscles that pull on our bones. And this makes protein powder helpful for building strong muscles that pull on our bones and help to stimulate new bone growth. So as you can see, both collagen and protein powder help us to improve our bone health, but they do so in slightly different ways. Collagen helps our bones directly and it helps them to have some amount of flexibility while protein powder helps us to build strong muscles that pull on our bones. This may mean that you want to include a bit of collagen and a bit of protein powder in your diet, or maybe you find one more appealing or a better fit for your personal needs. I'd love to hear your thoughts about collagen and protein powders. So drop me a comment and let me know what you're thinking. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And I look forward to talking with you soon.